Hello, good morning, good day, good afternoon, good evening, whoever and wherever you are, hello to you. Uh, first and foremost, if I want to talk in this video, I'm going to have to do it about 30, 40 miles an hour or lower, because any higher and it's just... So basically I'm hoping it's not bad now, but we'll see, won't we? Oh boy, we'll see. So this is a first impressions video. Uh, I've had this bike just for today, only a day. So I've been on it for a couple of hours, done a, let's say about 50 or so miles on her, 50 to 70 miles on her. Quite enjoyed the time, but uh, full disclaimer, if you're looking for an in-depth review of this motorcycle, you have come to the wrong place. There's a little X button up there. I wish you a lovely and happy day, enjoy. For those of you that want to stick around just to get an idea of what I think of the bike, or if you just want a first impressions idea of the bike, then, well, I will do my best. So my primary motorcycle is a Kawasaki Vulcan S Cruiser. Same engine as this one, however, with the adventure bike, the uh, Versys here, I feel I'm sat on top of all of this rather than with the Vulcan S, I'm sat within it all. And I ride my Vulcan S hard. Every turn, every roundabout, there's a peg scratch going on. I like to lean that bike over. With this, I've been very ginger, but I have enjoyed really leaning it over as far as I feel comfortable doing for a couple of hours worth of riding. It's been good fun, very good acceleration, as expected from the Kawasaki engine. And it's a motorcycle as well, so you'd hope it goes like the clackers off the mark. Suspension, I would say, is definitely an improvement over what I'm used to, but I will say this, the suspension's really easy to adjust as well. The only things I've really found is there's not really anywhere to put my feet when I uh, come to a stop. Now, I am a man of a annoyingly average stature, let's say, however, most of my height comes from my torso as opposed to my legs. So whenever I stop this bike, I am on tippy toes, on both sides otherwise I can pretty much flat foot it on one side if I lean myself over a little bit. When you're at a standstill or when you're going like relatively low speeds this screen shakes. It, well I say it's less of a shake more of an intense vibration. It's sort of doing it now. I wonder if it's going to pick that up. But yeah when this bike's at idle this screen vibrates and I found it very distracting the first few times I sat on this bike because I'm not used to it. So at slower speeds, I find this motorcycle very well balanced, very easy to maneuver. I've taken a around town, around a little residential area as well, and everything just feels fine, as you would expect from a, from a half decent, reasonably priced motorcycle. I say all these terms very loosely, of course, because your interpretation of half decent, good, bad, whatever, it's all subjective, of course. But all I can do is just say what I think. But, uh, yeah, higher speeds, I feel fine. I do get a little bit of buffeting at the uh, higher speeds simply because I'm not used to the shields. Plus, this is a very quiet helmet. I use a Shoei Neotech 2. Having the camera in front of it does affect the aerodynamics a little bit. However, when I'm on my cruiser without a shield, I feel fine. It's a little bit windy, but you know, that's, that's just the way it is. With this shield on, this helmet sounds loud really really loud now this can be adjusted i can see allen screws and that sort of stuff so it's just a matter of undo it adjust it pop it back on again jobs are good and beautiful i do like that bend i've had a lot of fun on this bike and would i recommend it it really depends i've had a lot of fun but I don't know if I would own one, like for a commuter or for like long distance, I don't see this being too much of an issue. The seat seems reasonable enough. I've yet to find a position if I sit all the way back, if I sit all the way forward or in sort of like the middle, I don't feel uncomfortable in any position really. But after about an hour's in the saddle, we'll see how that goes, but unfortunately, that's not today for me. It really depends on what you're after. This is a very good start to a taller or an adventure bike. If you want to get into adventure biking, maybe in a few years you want to get like a BMW or something like that. I think this is a very good place to start.
Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot missing. So if I was to sum up my impressions of the Versys, at least from what I've had today, I would say very comfortable, good for long distance, might want to try that out before I definitely guarantee you on that, but from my experience it's been great for distance. Um, probably great for commuting as well, low speed control has been fantastic, longer journeys, I don't feel fatigued. Suspension has been an absolute joy, the seat is fine. For what you want it to do. I can't fault this for being a very reasonable bike. We and the brakes are pretty good as well. There we go. Engine braking is good as well. I like this bike. I like riding it. I would probably rent one if I had the choice to, depending obviously on what else there was. If there was a Harley, I'd go for that any day. But that's just me being a cruiser chap. It's a lovely bike. It runs well. Suspension's lovely there. But there's something there which I just can't put my thumb on which is just you know what what makes this bike special I don't feel it and for that reason I couldn't own one hmm it's a tricky one but let me know what you think uh, let me know if you've enjoyed anything I've said agree disagree whatever like that like i said this is only a first impression so if i do get to jump on this courtesy bike another time oh let's pop us down the second then uh yeah absolutely yeah i want my jelly bean back now <laughs> i want her back so have yourselves a lovely week weekend and all that and i shall see you if i can get her into neutral mongo beautiful there we go very easy to find the kickstand. Down you go. And because I'm short, ha 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 ha. Yeah. I've enjoyed it. It's a good bike. I just wouldn't own one. <laughs>